Under the new protocols, healthcare workers who test positive for COVID-19 can return to work without testing or isolating. Healthcare workers say that puts staff and patients at risk. Governor Gavin Newsom and California public health leaders are putting the needs of health care corporations before the safety of patients and workers. That's according to the California Nurses Association. And what we know about this virus, what we have known for the last two years, is that people need to quarantine and isolate when they have been exposed or are infected, particularly if they're asymptomatic or not. April Verrett is president of SCIU Local 2015, which represents long-term care workers across California. The union condemns the recent decision by the California Department of Public Health to let health care workers who test positive for COVID-19 and who are asymptomatic return to work without isolation or testing. Many nurses and other health care workers argue going back to work while infected is dangerous. Well, I don't think we can make far reaching decisions based upon just one variant, right? So it was Delta a couple months ago. This month is this month it's Omicron. What is it going to be in the future? Verrett calls the decision short sighted, adding there are other alternative measures such as delaying elective surgery. But Dr. Peter Chin Hong, an infectious disease specialist at UCSF, says some action has to be taken to address the current staffing shortage. Nobody's asking somebody who is ill to come back to work. Dr. Chin Hong says this new protocol would be Plan B and says safety precautions will be in place to protect both patients and staff. He adds there's also precedence for doing so. So I think um, it's not something that one would reach as choice number one. But when faced with no other option, um, you know, it is something that has been done. Ebola in West Africa, uh, even currently with COVID, um, you know, the province of Quebec in Canada is just one example, has also talked about something like this. The California Department of Public Health says the new guidelines are just temporary and are only to be used as a last resort. But Dr. Sherry Patrick, a professor at the School of Nursing at San Jose State, points out that California's new guidelines go against CDC guidelines. It just feels like it's a moving target. Dr. Patrick says she understands hospitals are dealing with shortages, but adds not all of it is related to COVID-19. She said COVID-19 is forcing hospitals to adapt to the changing variants, but says there needs to be equity. And hospitals really can't, and I hopefully they won't, try to mandate that staff, um, you know, force staff to come back um, when they feel unsafe. These temporary protocols are in place until February 1st. In Pittsburgh, California, I'm Ansar Hassan for BNC.